What is up guys, today I'll be showing you the codename ROM on the Sprint Galaxy S3 and as you can see, that is pretty much the only bug right there. I don't know if you saw that, but the flickering, that's pretty much the only bug on this ROM. So if you can deal with really short epilepsies of flickering, then I guess that's okay with this ROM. So yeah, let's go ahead and pop into settings now. The real reason you would ever want a codename ROM is pretty much for the vast amount of features and the speed of the ROMs. The speed of codename ROMs are usually really fast. So if you go right down here, you can see that we got codename Android 3.6.5 and it's based off of Android 4.1.1. And if you hop out of this, you can actually see all the different settings that we have in here. So we have interface, performance profiles, quiet hours, themes, and launcher. And then if you go down some more, you can see that we have advanced and we also have I think that's it about CNA so you get to learn about Codename ROM and you can also donate if you want to but yeah big shout out to Codename Android ROM developers they're like amazing and yeah they're just really awesome and yeah so yeah, let's go ahead and check out the features that this ROM packs in it you can see here that we got interface this is pretty much all your general settings so if you hop into general here you can see that we got notification background, a kill all button, just some little tweaks that you can do that are actually pretty cool. Power menu, so there's this power menu, you can edit what's in here. So let's say you want to add in a toggle or profile switcher or maybe even a screenshot one. So now all you can do is press that and then take a screenshot. If you want to do that then that's pretty cool. You also get status bar and this is pretty much your bar up here. So you can also edit the battery like in Sanjumon AOKP ROMs. And in this room, you can actually edit the signal strength color and the Wi-Fi signal strength and color. So that's also pretty cool. I actually haven't seen that implemented into a ROM yet, so nice thinking codename ROM. Notification power widget, so this is pretty much your widgets up here that would appear right up here. I obviously have them off right now, but if you want them to go on, you can see here that I got them now once I toggled that power widget. And you can have pretty much different buttons, so you can decide which ones you have. As you can see, you have a lot of different buttons. You have a brightness location, so if you want to show that, you can also edit your brightness really easily from there. It's pretty cool. You can also hide the scroll bar, close the drawer on change, and you can also edit your haptic feedback when you press those buttons, so that's also a pretty cool feature. Next, we have notification toggles, so this is pretty much the layout the order, all the enable toggles, the color of it, all those settings. So let's say you want to edit it and you want this style of toggle instead. Then it actually didn't show up for me right there. Looks like that feature might be broken. But yeah, later on you'll be able to edit the layout and look of it. Down here you get hardware keys, so this is pretty much your uh, keys down here. So you can enable custom actions. So let's say you want your menu capacitive button to instead be a recents button. You just go on this menu key and you go to recent app switcher and then when you press that it'll show your recent apps. So that is pretty sweet. So let me go ahead and take that off back to a close menu and you can see that you also have show action overflow and I don't know if you guys have ever seen the HTC EVO 4 GLTE but if you go into some apps it'll actually have like a black bar down here and then three dots. That is what pretty much this will do. So if you want to have a menu button and then use this menu button as a recent, that is a really good uh, alternative. So it's a good thing that I put that in there. And last but not least, lock screen. And this is pretty much your weather, uh, location, temperature, stuff that you want to show up in your lock screen. So that's pretty cool. And you also have different backgrounds in your lock screen, clock alignment, calendar, weather as I said before, and different slider shortcuts. So Let's say you want to add a shortcut at this page. All you do is go into here and then edit which one you want to edit. So let's say you want to make a new one right there. You can have it launch applications, camera. So now it actually does already have a camera shortcut. But now if you want to click on this, you can just go straight up to here. It actually didn't look like it worked. Oh, it looks like you have to save it. So then you save that. And then when you go back into here, you'll have your shortcut right up here. So that is pretty sweet. And yeah, that's pretty much about it in the interface section. Is there more? Yeah, we do have sound and display, but this isn't really much sound. Just all general, your volume rocker, music controls, some just some other goodie stuff. Display, 
some notification light stuff, and yeah, that's about it in the interface section. Next we got the performance section, and this is pretty much all your tweaks, your voltage control, your kernel control, your processor speed, your overclocking, pretty much everything. You can also disable the boot up animation, and that is pretty cool as well. Now if you are wondering what the boot up animation is on this ROM, it's basically just the Jelly Bean stock boot up animation. It has a little nexus and it glows around and it's pretty cool. And you also can see that we have a boot off, a lock off animation, a screen, don't know, how, like what's it called, a screen off animation I guess, and you should probably be able to uh, disable that if you want to. Now let's go into profiles, you can see that you have different profiles so you can make different uh, settings or buttons that you want to press to enable different settings. So let's say you want night. This is pretty much enable all of these settings right here. So you can create your own custom profiles. That is pretty cool, but for now I'll just stick to default. You also have quiet hours. So this, so this is pretty much when your uh, calls will behave just like nothing. So basically, uh, that wasn't a very good job of explaining it. But if you enable this, it will pretty much mute anything that you choose to between a certain hour. So let's say you want it to be quiet from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Then that's pretty much what you can do. And you can disable all the stuff that you want to happen between that certain time period. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You also get launcher. And this is pretty much your normal launcher settings. I think it uses Trebuchet. I'm not sure. Might have to check up on that. But yeah, you just get some general... Uh, launcher settings right there. You also have a theme section so you can get themes from the Play Store, XDA, pretty much any site that has themes on it then you can apply them right through there. So that's pretty cool. And also in advanced you do get sensors, enable keys backlight so you can edit these capacitive keys backlight right down there. You can calibrate your phone, you can also edit some stuff right here that you probably wouldn't want to mess with but yeah. And that really is about it. Again, big thanks to the Codename Android team. Pretty much all of their friends and developers, they're just awesome. And I'm probably going to be using this ROM once they get the flickering screen fixed. Now, I'm not sure if they do have a fix up yet on XDA. They probably don't since I just downloaded it and I didn't see anything up there. But yeah, he'll probably eventually fix it. And it might just be me. It might not see there, there it goes right there. It might be me, it might not be like some other people, and I also want to show you guys one more thing before I cut off the video. If you go into Codename Wallpapers, you can see that you have all these different cool wallpapers, and that's what I really like about Codename. They just make everything awesome. So if you just apply that, it applies really fast, and then there you go. You got your wallpaper right there. So hey guys, thanks for watching. Sorry if you can hear the gardeners outside, and I'll talk to you guys later.